Hey you guys, hola, hasta mañana, it's William calling from Weebly Vlogs. Hi, I'm Freddy. <laughs> we are in Tron time in Norway for Melody Grand Prix, but last night when we landed, we had to hit the screen oh. to watch Benidorm Fest. And oh my god, it was incredible. There's one that we're gonna react to, but we have watched a couple of times. When I say a couple, it's 20. <laughs> I think it was six, to be honest. <laughs> it is Jorge Gonzalez with Caliente. Shall we watch and react? <laughs> Let's do this! All right, hitting play. I love how that has a little chili pepper in the mm. symbol. He brought a sauna okay. on the stage. This is a club I've been to before. <laughs> Which one were you? <laughs> I like how it's explicit, the sexuality. Yeah, yeah. Cutting to the chase. Oh my God. The men have a femininity, the way they move their body. Yeah, I love the adornments on the body as well. Mm. They like it too. <laughs> oh, this is building so nicely. The trumpet. Man. The sweat so on the- Spanish. Yeah. <gasps> this man. Oh my God. If you look in a particular area, you see outline. But it's also amazing that oh, they like kind of get so close to it, but they never properly like touch it. Yeah, the forbidden fruit. Yeah, the straight man. Have they sprayed him with spritzer? Maybe it's just really caliente. Though. Caliente. <laughs> I love the you. <gasps> the way he spread that. Yeah. Do you know what? I wish the verses were as good as the hook. I think they're giving us visual music yes. in the verses. Oh, that's so cheer, bring it on. He's so graceful the way he moves. It's really well choreographed. Sensual matador. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like a male Eleni Ferreira. Yeah, and he really doesn't have to do much to just make it really captivating. Whilst the dancers are already working overtime. Yeah, he's got presence. He really does. And pectoral. <laughs> Dance break. Oh. oh. You know, I feel like you could do this. <laughs> I know. This could be stronger. This could be much bigger. They're relying on the lighting and stuff. Yeah. Oh, this. It works though. The, the camera makes it work. Oh, that hurt is so oh. good. Wow. Yeah, you can imagine this in Malmo. being so big in the arena going wild. This deserves a bigger stage. What, are they wrestling? What is that? I love it. It's so Ricky Martin. Yeah, living la vida loca. Oh. It's oh. that last wow. vocal. I almost want it to be bigger, like the last bit, just to really grow. Yeah, but you know what's interesting is they're in a position where you want more, right? Yeah. Like yeah, this yeah. is a song you could work with and build and make even better. I think the stage show is already like 80% there. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely taking cues from Chanel. Mm. Like, there's no denying that. I just think, the what is it's Eurovision ready? Like yeah. it could go and it could do very well. Like I honestly think it could win. I think we talked about this earlier, but a lot of times at Eurovision, countries have attempted to give a Spanish sounding song or a Latin sounding song yeah. and it's good, but it doesn't feel authentic. This feels authentic. On the one hand, yes, it's plastic pop, but it's authentic to its genre. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. feels real. It needs to have the, the the Spanish element, but it also needs to be something that an international audience can understand yeah. and follow and be pulled into. And I think that does it yeah. in a really captivating way. Like it's it's sexy. Oh, it, it's I, I should not be having these feelings. And <laughs> I like that you have this kind of beak. How do I say this? Basically, male on male dancing. There's no shame here because yeah. you could read it ambiguously as homoerotic or you could just respect it as dance. And I feel like Jorge is confident enough to say, 
I am a man here. I can express myself. I can release my yeah. feelings and work with my body. No, it's so flamboyant. He's so in control of his sexuality, and that is so so strong. So so attractive. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah, attractive. Exactly. I think if there were women dancing with him, it would feel predatory. Exactly, it would feel yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. But because you have men who are giving moves that are, in many ways, bending the rules of like gender expectations, no, exactly. right? It's not conforming. It's, it's that moment when they lift him up. It's not really a. A moment you see with a male a male yeah. performer, right? It's always they get the it's like loads of flat shirts, yeah. men picking up a woman, right? And that right. was like so fun to watch. I think it's nice instead of saying yes queen, you can say yes king. Yeah, you know, I right. think we don't know what he goes with. We don't a celebration <laughs> of freedom, a celebration of identity, a celebration of sensual chameleon. Oh, I loved it. Now, some people have said, "Oh, this is so predictable. This is cheap." What's your response? Uh, I don't know. I think it. I think it's really original in its own way, but I think it's also recognizable in a way that's really going to pull in an international audience, and I think that's what you want. But not the international jury. Interestingly, in Spain, the musical experts ranked this third from bottom. That is third from bottom. They put the public's top third from bottom. Yeah. And stop saying bottom. So I, so I <laughs> top bottom. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, it won the uh, Jorge won demoscopic vote. Yeah. Jorge won public vote, and then the jury put him low. It's interesting. On the TV, it came across very well. I don't know how it came across in the arena. Mm. Um, well, sometimes the mixing is different in the arena than it is in the TV version. No. So I don't know. Um, maybe some of the other artists gave better, kind of stronger vocals. There were moments where I, you could see that the vocals could be elevated a little bit. That's not to say he can't sing. He could definitely oh, sing. He sing. That, that final like, note. That final note was amazing. I almost wanted that to be bigger. Yeah, um, you're such so a I, size queen. You want everything <laughs> bigger. But I just, I just think, yeah, maybe, maybe they were voting for different reasons. It'd be interesting to see if the jury see, recognize the public are really behind this and, yeah. and vote a little bit differently on Saturday night. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, another thing we should point out is the jury put Maria Pele second. Mm. Uh, Ramente, beautiful performer. However, I feel like as a foreigner, like if we think back to EIE a flamenco last year, yeah. If the criteria is choose the act that will do the best at Eurovision, mm. then I think, um, oh, I'm so sorry. We should point out that St. Pedro won the jury and then Maria Pele was second and then Jorge was way down. Um, Maria Pele, I feel like maybe that wouldn't translate to international audiences. Yeah, I, um, well, with that, I think, I, when you told me the story of what the song was about, I don't think that translates within, within the performance itself. I think they, maybe they could do something with the staging there. But yeah, but yeah again, it's something that may, may work for a Spanish audience, may tug on those kind of patriotic mm. strings, but it doesn't really work when you're not enveloped in the culture itself. Yeah, now we're going to talk about St. Pedro in a separate video. However, I understand why the juries went for this. I mm. under Because it is a beautiful song, and it was my number one coming into this. But I don't think the live stage show at the moment is working. Mm. Um, but we can talk about that in a separate video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, final thoughts on Jorge. How do you think this would do at Eurovision? Oh, if you finesse the vocals and made that dance break a bit tighter, I think it could do very well, even with juries at Eurovision. I don't think the juries are necessarily going to vote the same as the juries in Benidorm Fest. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. I would also say that these three minutes are so visually captivating on top of the song. On its own, the song is maybe throwaway. It's fine. Yeah. But when you pair it with the staging, this comes alive. This, it's snowing. Wow. Caliente <laughs> and here's snow out there. But when you pair this with the visuals, I didn't want to talk when I was watching that. I just wanted to watch the magic. No. Know? It was... You'd be incredible. singing that hook for the rest of the night. Just incredible. Jorge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, was, <laughs> that was incredible. Well, oh, and final point for me. I think this would come top five televote at Eurovision. Do you really? I really think this could come top five. Yeah. Other acts that try to do dance, sensual... I don't know. This, for me, this type of Spanish language music pushes other stuff out of the way. Yeah, it's in like, the midst of like a, a Eurovision filled with kind of... In a Nordic country filled with a lot of hyperpop, it's going to really stand out, I think. And we know we're going to get female dance from Cyprus. We're going to get female dance from um, Austria. We're going to get female dance from a lot of places, I think. Yeah. What, did, what were you telling me about when the world is in trouble? Oh, yeah. So when, when econ economies are poor or there's kind of crisis in the world, they say the BPMs get bigger, get faster. The beat Songs goes go, up. Go up, right? 
And the only thing is, I think, in the UK, Ollie Alexander is another rat who traditionally performs, like, owning his sexuality and flamboyance yeah. and stuff. And I think, actually, he may be in trouble, so, you know, if this goes. Oh, that's interesting. I guess what we're trying to say is this could push a lot of acts out of mind. Yeah. It's memorable. It's so memorable. And the camera work, when he turns his back to the audience and he's coming at you, that's a moment. Oh my god, yeah. It's basically Eurovision ready. <laughs> You're like, I gotta get backstage. He needs to look at me. <laughs> I wanna watch it again. <laughs> Actually, let's do that now. <laughs> yes, we'll please. see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>